Hi Lance fans, Julie B. Trowbridge. I've known Lance since, uh, when did we, we just celebrated 30 years out of high school. So thanks for watching the Lance channel, we love you. Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, Rick Steele, getting ready to go to Detroit. Plane was supposed to leave about 8.45. Now it's going to be, what, 10.50? 10.50. Mm -hmm. We got a two, extra two-hour delay. Uh, so here we are, sitting at the airport. This is how it's starting. Okay. Here I'm in Detroit International Airport, because you don't see this very often. Lions and tiger stuff. That just doesn't happen. He's, Richard's really excited about the lion stuff. You just don't see that anywhere in Phoenix. And the Michigan stuff. And Suzanne, Misha, or Misha, I almost said Misha. Richard's going to get you that little tank top right there. A little go blue tank top. <laughs> Preparing for the world's biggest tire right now. I'm. You're getting, we're getting. I, I've been told the world's biggest tire is coming. <laughs> it's coming. And uh, this is why I came here. <laughs> That's why. <you're> <laughs> I didn't realize we were going to see it so soon. We could have just. We could have gone back tonight. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to the world's biggest tire. Look at it. There it's it is. Good, it's got good tread. Yeah, it's, it's got good, good tread. tread. Better than my car. I need to get new tires. <laughs> Look at that. Now. There it is. Okay, here I am in Motown, Detroit, Rock City. Finally here. Oh look, Detroit Opera House. Right there. We heard they have a really good Buffalo Wild Wings here, and we're going to be get headed over there. Yeah. But they just have like a velvet chair. <laughs> Feels like we're in like Christie's Cabaret. <laughs> Not that I know. I don't know about that. But. Here it is. The siren. This is a popular coffee hangout right here. You want to lay there, lay down there. <laughs> look, look, look at this. There's some of the old. They left the old stuff they renovated just to kind of give you a look of what it used to be like. Where do you want to go first? Yeah. Looks like the. Uh... This is our bordello we're staying at. <laughs> Which way do we go? This way. 
Okay, we're at the Siren Hotel. It's it's raining. But look, look at the views out here. Look okay, at you can't even see the building tops. There's the people mover. Is that a gym too? There's another gym. Mm -hmm. They really like to work out in this town. There's Greek Town. We're gonna to be headed to the Greek Town Casino. We're not like, drinking and gambling. That's what we're here for. Okay, so here's the Siren Hotel. This is the room. Check it out. Got some little beds here. Okay, look at this. Here's the little snacks. You know? And then right here, there's a little note. Brad, please send us your call our way if there's anything you need. The Siren. Gotta love it. What hospitality. And check out this shower. I don't know how you turn the lights on in this place, but look at the size of this shower. I think they could have made this smaller and had the more room. <laughs> so you got the rain shower, then you come out here and you got this awesome like Gotham rooftop, like um, the show Gotham. Look at these old buildings. This place is awesome. Okay. I don't normally shoot videos in the shower, but this, this is an exception. And a black toilet. Oh, here we go. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> so this is at the Siren Hotel. Here we are in Greek Town. There's the Firebird Tavern. Firebird Arena. Oh, we got seafood steaks and sushi right here. Fishbone seafood steaks. Okay, here we are in a place called Greek Town. This is like their Mill Avenue on steroids, sort of. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, the gas lamp district in San Diego. And here it is. Okay, I just want to apologize in advance. My hair is going crazy because of the humidity here in Detroit. But we're at the world famous Fishbones restaurant. And uh, it's really awesome here. They got, they got like a hundred things on the menu. And we're gonna try most of them today. Okay, Long Island iced tea number one, right here. There it is. We're in Detroit, nothing to do tomorrow. All night long. A snapper, something French with shrimp, and some uh, whatever, and some vegetables. Rick Steele, what do you got now? What is that? Chicken and Florentine. Chicken Florentine. Yeah. With a bunch of white rice or whatever it is. Whatever. He's got a lot of carbs there, folks. Okay, we're headed to Pappy's Sports Bar right here. Pappy's Sports Bar. Check it out. Fires are breaking out everywhere in Detroit. There are fires breaking out in Detroit everywhere. Man. Oh yeah, it's like the riots. And, uh... It's like it's not riots, man. It's like whatever. <laughs> Okay, here we are at the Greek town. You know, it's been great out here. The devils. We've got, we've been having drinks, great dinner, great snapper. There's the Pegasus. This is Greek town, Thursday night. It's pretty good. I have to say, for those people who think Detroit is Crazy, it's not man. This place is pretty good. They've done a good job here. And that's my that's my story, man. A lot of good restaurants here. There is Alice Cooper, Detroit's own. And you got white stripes. Detroit's own. So this is Detroit Rock right here. I mean look at this place. 
We're here, man. This is Detroit Rock City. Okay. For those of you who don't know, this is, this is how old this hotel is. Look at this phone here. It's a touchtone phone. Look at that. Millennials, this is what it is. This is what we used to dial. This was a modern phone because we used to have the dial, the rotary dial. Now we got this and we were thinking, well, wasn't, wasn't this awesome? <laughs> well, we got this. Look, we got little ledges. We got a little piece of paper. So Richard, when I talk in my sleep, he's going to write down what I say. Yeah. And then in the morning we're going to evaluate psychologically. Yeah, he's, he's what got I'm issues. Actually... I'm going to figure out what his issues are. Yeah, I, I've got a lot of issues. People have told me I, I talk in my sleep. So. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. Oh man, nice shirt, man. Thanks. You should have wore that out. People would have given you a little more respect. Hey, they were giving me respect. Oh yeah, you were in so your AC was, stuff. Yeah. That was great. All the ASU people were like totally, like, yay, ASU! You know, fun. Okay, yeah, here I am, downtown Detroit. Friday afternoon for the ASU Michigan State game. We're gonna go down to the waterfront. Maybe hopefully see the uh, skeleton of the Joe Lewis Arena. Home of the uh, Detroit Red Wings hockey team. <laughs> and here we are in Woodward and Clifford. And it's not a bad day today. It's a little overcast. We're hoping it's not going to rain too much. We have Orioles Tigers later tonight. We'll see if that transpires. Okay, here we are in the financial district of Detroit. There's some convention centers here. This is like the convention center right here. And there's uh, the GM building. That's the, that's the famous thing you see all the time on TV. And now we're going to go to the old Joe Louis Arena, which they're half tearing down right now. Okay, behind me right there is Canada. Canada right there. And these are international waters right here. United States over to Canada. And right behind these trees are the GM building. And there's Caesar's Palace of Canada. And there's the Canadian flag. And here's Rick Steele. Now we're gonna go by the old Joe Lewis Arena. So what are your thoughts? It's been a while. Have you been to the Riverwalk recently or? No, I haven't. I don't think I've ever actually walked down here before. Yeah, well they said they just started put building this thing. Oh really? Before it was just a bunch of uh, old dirt. Okay, so here we are, and we're going by the old Joe Lewis Arena, home of the Detroit Red Wings. Many Stanley Cups have been won here, and now it's just in ruins. They're getting ready to rip it down. Some of you people who might know that you can see the red facade that used to adorn it. Look, there's Steve Eiserman Drive. Great Red Wing player. And you can see, if you can see inside, I don't know if you can see, but there's the inner shell of where the seats go. And uh, Richard, your grandparents had season tickets here for how long about? Uh, I think it was like 30 or 30 40 years, years. 30 years season ticket holders. Yeah. And this is kind of like, a, it's kind of sad actually when you think about it. I don't cry very often, but when the stadium get ripped down, that's when I shed a tear. <laughs> that's like one of the few times I get emotional. There you can see some of the stands where the seats were in there. There's like a luxury suite. Well, they didn't really have many luxury suites in this place, but that was it.
Okay, here we are at the Fist, the big Detroit Fist. Oh, right there. There's Rick Steele. There's the Central Michigan Chippewa bus. To go Dan Marley. There it is. The Punch Bowl Social. This goes out to Pro Bowler Jack Sinkler. There's a great bowling alley right there called the Punch Bowl Social. We may have to check that out, but uh, we're not in any shape because that's a sport. Okay, so this is the definitely the Michigan area. This whole place. It's all, it's sports mania, Detroit style. Okay, so I'm looking in this Detroit store and look, there's an Arizona Cactus League baseball just sitting right here. They don't even play in the Cactus League, Detroit. But there it is. Okay, here in Greektown, and during the day, it's a sunny 80 degrees. Uh, we're headed to the Motown Museum now. So we're gonna go check out a little Motown, and we're looking forward to it. We just got done with Sports Mania. Richard made some purchases here. It only took an hour to decide, but he's got that Detroit Tiger shirt he always wanted. And from Firebird Arena to Firebird Tavern here in Detroit. Right there. Okay. Here I am at the Motown Museum. Uh, so the Hitsville, USA, right there. All right, friends. Check out this neighborhood. There's Barry Gordy Boulevard. There it is, Motown Studio. That's good. Did you see what you needed to see? <laughs> Think of all the great acts that went through that door right there. Motown Studio A. What do you think? There it is. All the great acts went through there. Yeah. Okay, Detroit. Great time. Went to the Tigers game, Lions game. We had Lions, Tigers, and beers, as they say. Went to the great Michigan State campus in East Lansing. Big Sun Devil victory. We saw one, one barroom brawl in Detroit. And it was a great time, uh, great city, uh, just like Chicago. Uh, there's a lot of great things about the town. This place is coming up, and we had a really good time. And so, until the next adventure, bye. Okay, whether you're at a five star, whether you're at a five star hotel, a Motel 6, or anywhere in between, this is something everyone should do when they get to their hotel room. You need to check for bed bugs. Check the, open this up, check along the lines here, see if there's any brown little mites or